the rapture, the word itself has taken on this mystical quality. It's this magical day when all God's children are just going to vanish off the face of the earth. It could happen at any moment, any second of any day, all year long. Really? And then after this event happens, the world is going to go through one of the roughest times it's ever went through. Seven years of tribulation with the Antichrist coming on the scene and his mark of the beast. Without it, you cannot buy or sell. But before any of that happens, the rapture is going to happen. The rapture, we're just going to leave. And then all the bad stuff's going to happen. Really? Is that the truth? Guys, I'm going to show you in just two passages of Scripture whether or not this is true or not. So here we go. The first place to look is the famous rapture verses themselves in Paul's letter to the Thessalonians, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 16 and 17. But let me just, before we read them, let me point something out, guys. You do know, right, that these are letters Paul wrote. They didn't have chapters or verses. Those were all added later, in the 16th century. Just a little over 400 years ago is the first they started, you know, putting these verse numbers and these chapters as if, you know, there's division in what Paul's saying. Guys, have you ever written a letter to somebody? It's just a letter. You just write a letter. Everything flows, you know, from beginning to end of the letter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read six verses of Scripture from 1 Thessalonians right through one to the next. So here we go. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Wherefore, comfort one another with these words. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Okay, guys. Do you understand this is all talking about the same event? The two famous rapture verses are literally the day the Lord comes as a thief in the night. In other words, they're literally describing what's going to happen the day the Lord returns as a thief in the night. And if you look closer at the two famous rapture verses, they're only speaking about what happens to those people on earth who are in Christ. Do you notice that? There's no mention of what's going to happen to the earth on that day, no mention of what's going to happen to the ungodly. But do you know that the Bible has the answer to what's going to happen to the ungodly on the day the Lord returns as a thief in the night? The same day as these two famous rapture verses. All we have to do is flip over to Peter's letter, 2 Peter 3.10, says this, But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. Say, What? So the day the Lord returns as a thief in the night, everything's going to burn. No one's going to survive on earth. Every wicked, godless person 
is going to perish on the day the Lord returns as a thief in the night. So if we look back now at Paul's words, do you realize now why there is a caught-up event of God's people, those still alive and remaining, on the day Christ returns like a thief? It's so they don't get burned in the fire. Friend, God's wrath is a global firestorm on the last day. And we, the saints, those alive and remaining who have made it through the great tribulation, are not appointed to that wrath. So you know what this means. There's no pre-tribulation rapture, guys. The two famous rapture verses do not support a pre-trib time frame. That doctrine is nonsense, guys. In fact, if you look at what Paul says here, right after he writes, For yourselves know perfectly the day of the Lord, so cometh as a thief in the night. Look at what he says. For he actually does tell us what's going to happen to the ungodly on that day. They shall not escape. Oh, guys. He's telling you they're all going to perish. How? Peter tells us, in fire, because the entire earth's surface is going to burn in fire. Oh, it's so simple, guys. The Bible's so clear on this topic. So there you go. I could say so much more, but I already have. I spent a year of my life making a 10-part video series entitled 2028 End, which explains all of this and much more. If you guys would just listen to that series, you'd understand all of these things. And you'd realize if you believe in a pre-trib rapture, you've been lied to. They've been lying to us about this my whole life for 50 years now. In the churches, the TV preachers, it's just a lie, folks. So get ready for the great tribulation, guys. Prepare your hearts and your minds because you're going through it. We all are in the next eight years. The rapture happens on the last day at the last trump, Earth's 6,000th year, Feast of Trumpets, 2028. May God bless your understanding of his word. Do you have family and friends who are skeptical of the Bible? Do you know people who have fallen away from the faith? If so, Gabriel's prophetic 10-part series, 2028 End of the World, is what they need. Christ's first message to the church after his resurrection was fulfilled prophecy. It says he started at Moses, went through the Psalms, and then on through the prophets, expounding those things concerning himself. And it was this prophetic message the disciples took into the world, making believers of people. Well, friend, God has saved the best prophecy for last. For in 2008, God revealed to Gabriel his secret prophetic message in each of the seven creation days. And it's mind-blowing. God truly did declare the end from the beginning and the things not yet done. And Gabriel reveals it all and more in this 10-part series running 280 minutes entitled 2028 End of the World. Time is short and eternity is long. Don't let yourself or your friends miss this opportunity to learn God's plan for planet Earth as laid out in the seven-day creation story. Get it today in DVD or Blu-ray form. You'll never be the same.